Hey guys, what's up? I am 37 and a couple days, <laughs> weeks pregnant, and I wanted to go over what I'm bringing to the hospital, which I know looks like kind of a lot, but I looked at all the lists online, I watched a lot of YouTube tutorials and what people were bringing, and I kind of made a decision to bring all of this stuff because even though I'm going for a VBAC, which is a vaginal birth after cesarean, um, there is a chance that I could have another C-section. So I need to go to the hospital kind of, you know, preparing to be there anywhere from a day and a half to five days. Um, when I was with my son, when I had my son almost nine years ago, I was there for about five days. So you never know. And I'm doing this pretty much on my own. I have a doula that's gonna help me, but I don't really have anyone that's gonna, that I know of that's gonna be able to like go back and forth and grab me stuff if I'm like, I need a blanket. So let's get started. So this bag right here, this beautiful Ikea bag, which I figured would just hold all this stuff and this adorable backpack that I'm about to go over, that actually all fits in there. And then I just have this bag here, which is like my stuff with an adult diaper on top. <laughs> we'll get to that. So let's start with this bag. So Boppy for breastfeeding. Look how cute this cover is. Love it. So I'm just gonna throw things out of the way. I also have this really amazing blanket. I have a baby, they make baby blankets. It's this brand, but it's like Mexican blanket on one side and like this really, really soft Sherpa on the other side. So they originally made baby blankets and my friend got, my friend Hannah got me one with that's like more teal. Even though I'm having a girl, I love teal. And then I was like, I wish they made these for adults or adults big size and they did. And then I like took advantage of the sale they were having around Black Friday and I got myself one. So this will just be really nice to have in the hospital. Also, side note, um, even though I'm not due for a little bit longer, the baby's been moving around a lot. So last week, the baby was still head up. And so they scheduled me this external version where I had to go to the hospital and it was kind of a big deal. They were like, you know, my doula and they were, you know, everyone was like, pack like you might have a baby because if something goes wrong with this version. So I had to check into the hospital, get my labor room, bring my stuff, which is why this also delayed this video because I kind of had to repack because when you're, when I was going in for a potential emergency cesarean, I kind of got rid of some things because I was like, I don't have a chance to have a vaginal birth. Um, luckily, I went to, to get some chiropractic care the day before, kind of last ditch effort and the Webster technique, look it up. Um, and I went to this place in Portland called Luna Wellness and it felt really good on my, obviously the, honestly the whole thing felt really good but we didn't really know. And at the end of the appointment, she's like, well, she feels kind of transverse. And the next morning I checked into the hospital to get this external version and she was head down. So I didn't actually have to go through with it, which was amazing. So I came home, repacked, and we're just gonna see what happens as my lab, or as my, um, Pregnancy keeps going. Um, still hoping to have a VBAC, but we'll see. Okay, so that's what that's all about. Then next, let's get into this really cute, this is actually a diaper bag by Skip Hop. It's a vinyl, vegan leather. It's got like waterproof inside, so it's really great for messes. It has this like big pocket on the on this side and another one in the back and then this thing and I love these tassels rose gold detail so so cute um, I can do another video later that's just gonna be all about what's in my diaper bag right now this is just some baby stuff so it's not really like a diaper bag but it's gonna be like my bag and the baby stuff so this pocket will be where I put my wallet chapstick my birth plan is in here and a uh, pen, you know, just things that I need to immediately get to. This, and keys, you know, all that stuff. Cell phone, that'll go in there. And then when you open this up, I have things like, I'll link everything below too. These really cute burp cloths that I got that are unisex and cute. And I got more, it came in the pack of four or five, but I'm only bringing two to the hospital. So that's in there. And this is like all the baby clothes are in here. And then I have two coconut waters for after baby's born for hydration and breastfeeding. And then this back pocket, obviously there's a lot more cool de details about this backpack. I'm not going into all that right now. And then in the back, I have this baby book about me. And I got this for my baby shower 
or it was on my registry and I want to bring it so we can do like the footprints and stuff. So we're not going to pack all this back, but I just want to show you these. I have a set of three of these bags. These are wet bags. These are going to be great for the diaper bag as well. Um, so this little pocket right here has little things like a little velvet headband. This is from Lulu and company. I will, I will link everything below. Another little headband. <laughs> my God. Um, these really, really cute. Hello. My name is stickers for the gram, for the Instagram. Um, this was a gift from my friend Carrie. It's bare, barefoot dreams, softest beanie you ever did feel. And then my grandma got me these like, oh wait, there's little mittens if I need them. Obviously I was like, I wanna bring all her clothes. But we don't really need that many clothes. Um, these really cute little booties my grandma got me. I think these were at Target actually. Oh my God. Okay, I don't want this video to be 18 years long, so we're just going to get through it and I'm gonna repack this stuff after. Um, and as far as like baby gear, um, I wanted to bring, this was like a hand-me-down, but obviously these like gowns are so much easier for changing. This is a little bit bigger. It's zero to three months, so I figured depending on how big the baby is, that'll be good. I'm also bringing this. This is from Lulu and Company. It's really soft. It's this like kind of rose gold or rosy kind of pink color and so so cute and you can like knot the bottom adorbs and then just a plain blanket that I can wrap her in or swaddle her in this is actually a swaddle from love to dream this was a hand-me-down from a friend that had a baby earlier this year and these are also just some hand-me-downs just like a little white shirt and this little onesie and then I just need to pack Maybe one pair of pants. I probably don't need this many clothes, you guys, but I don't know. I'd rather have, oh, and then just a little pair of sacks. So, I don't know. It'll be warm in the hospital, so maybe that's too much stuff. I don't, I don't really know. I don't care. So that's, but it all fits. So I'm bringing that for baby. Now we're getting into, I gotta get going. So now we're getting into my bag. This bag is my friend's company. Uh, she runs it. It's called Tia Sadie. I'll link it below. She works with, she goes to Guatemala and works with artists or artisans that make these bags as well as this, these beautiful textiles. So I have a, two of these bags. This one is like a very large weekender, as you can see, and it fits everything. So I wanted to bring it for um, the hospital. So right off the bat, because I threw this in, this is an adult diaper. <laughs> I got a lot of people recommending to get these because they're just more comfortable, they're easier to put on, because whether whatever kind of birth I end up having, I'm going to want to have comfort. So I have a bunch of pads for when I get home, but I did pack maybe like six of these. I'm not sure how many to bring. This bag is my snack bag <laughs> so i'm actually gonna break all this stuff out and show you um after because it's just gonna take too long to go through all of that because i want to show you all my snacks um this is my technology bag so we've got portable charger which is all ready to go i'm gonna bring this camera that i'm filming on right now and so i have the charger for that and then just like my phone charger so that way everything's just in here so if i'm like you know, my doula or a friend comes to visit or whatever, I can just easily tell them where stuff is instead of having them have to like dig for through my bag. Okay, so as far as clothes, like I said, I might be there five days, I don't know. But I wanted to bring something that I knew was gonna be comfy, that I was gonna feel com like just relaxed in. And this sweatshirt I've worn to death, it's my team, it's Set Your Soul on Fire, which is like my upline coaching, beach body coaching team, but it's just like the dreamiest, softest sweatshirt ever. So bringing that. Then this is just like a t-shirt that can go with anything. Has a moon on it. Um, I got a lot of stuff for motherhood and maternity. I hit up their sales, you guys. There were so many sales the last few months, like over the holidays. So this is just like a nursing tank. It does have the little snaps to come down. So it's like built-in bra and I can bring it down for nursing. So I got that. Um, my Blanky Girls. Well, I don't know how to say that. Blanky Girls, Blanky Girls. Um, maternity leggings they're so comfortable I will wear I'm probably gonna take these out of, out of this bag to wear them before the baby comes but they're coming with me because they're gonna be great for postpartum as well um, this set for motherhood maternity is like heaven it's so soft so it's got this like top which is like 
has the buttons that you can unsnap and then there is the bottoms that go with it that go under the belly so I can wear this like after I have the baby and they're just really soft everything is kind of black and gray all goes together mix and match see what I'm doing there one pair of comfy socks this is from motherhood maternity this is like a nightgown which I which has a nursing some padding like a built-in bra and nursing capability. I appreciate the modesty. It's not too short. There's not gonna be a lot of cleavage. I wanna feel comfortable. I don't like cleavage. Then we've got this robe, which I really, really like. That's also from Motherhood Maternity. Um, and yeah, I can wear it with my, my uh, gown I just showed you. I can wear it with the leggings, a t-shirt, whatever. It, easy access for the boobs, comfortable. Can wear it in the hallway. I like it. I can also feel cute. Okay, then I also have one nursing bra that I'm bringing, also from Motherhood Maternity. It's kind of like a sports bra deal, which I like. I'm gonna get more bras later, but. Water bottle. This is a water bottle with a pop top. I read a lot about how that's just gonna be convenient for one handing it. I'm sure the hospital will have water bottles for me, but I just kind of like the idea of having my own so I can keep track of staying hydrated. Plus when I'm home and nursing, this will be really great for one handing my hydration. This is my makeup bag, my you know my toothbrush, my necessities. So I will go over this in a minute at the end of the video in greater detail. At the bottom of the bag, we just have more of these glorious diapers for me. And then a pair of emu slippers. So these have hard soles. Some people buy slippers and throw them away after the hospital because they're like, ew, gross. And I did think about that, but I love these. And I, I was just at the hospital, I checked into a room and it was pretty clean. So I feel like if I'm wearing these around my room, I feel comfortable taking them home and cleaning the bottom and bringing them back into my house. Um, but as far as like walking in the halls or taking showers or whatever, I have my Nike slides. Again, you can get disposable uh, flip-flops or something, but I can wash these. And they're super comfortable. If my feet are swollen, I don't have to worry about like slipping my toes in there. I could put socks on and wear these over my socks. So that's gonna be bringing those. I'm also bringing like two or three pairs of underwear, which you don't need to see. <laughs> and then these were given to me. I think they're gonna give me more of these at the hospital, but they're perineal cold packs. So you break them and then they're cooling for the badge area. So I'm just bringing two of them. I have more stuff in my bathroom that was given to me from a friend that delivered earlier this year. And I think they're gonna give me a lot of stuff at the hospital. So I'm trying not to bring a bunch of stuff that they're just gonna give me. But yeah, that's it for my bag. I just wanna show you guys like my snacks and my toiletries and then that's it. Okay, so I wanted to go over, I just have like everything piled up and it's been a couple hours because I went to go run an errand, but I'm just going to splice this in and we'll just pretend. Um, my dog has a jingle bell on her and she's back here scratching. What's going on? Lucy, what are you doing? Okay, so I have this beautiful headband <laughs> that I got at Target. It's really cute, um, but I think it'll just be helpful for like keeping hair out of my eyes little mini brush everyone needs this so I always have this like to go bag ready to go with with like basics and then I just like add to it so I have some shower gel I love this rose jam but I also use Dr. Bronner's can you stop itching I'm trying to make a video you've been quiet this whole time um, dry shampoo I'm not you know people are probably gonna want to bring shampoo conditioner I don't wash my hair very often as is so just a little thing of dry uh, shampoo is gonna help me out I've never used Dove I don't really care about the brand so I just grabbed this at Target little deodorant that I've had for a while so yeah I like to just keep samples ready to go and then I just add to it um, this is cool so this is nipple butter can we see here by Earth Mama aniline free safe for baby and this little tub just fits right in here so this will be for uh, breastfeeding help I grabbed some wet like soothing cloths so to take off my makeup or just to feel fresh because I don't know if I'll be wearing makeup when I go into labor but um, probably so this will just help me like kind of clean up feel fresh and then again I can use these like anytime um, makeup brush is always in here <laughs> toothpaste <laughs> 
Q-tips. These are just my always travel things. Mouth mouthwash. Somebody told me that I needed to bring mouthwash because they threw up during labor. That's news to me, but I guess that ha can happen. Um, coconut oil, just for my body, my my lips, whatever. I mean, I just like to have coconut oil with me at all times. Why is the lighting so bad? I love this cream blush by Tarte. Uh, Glisten, it's like a cheek stain. So this is like my travel go-to. It has a little bit of like sheen to it. I don't need a brush. I can just put it right on with my, um, just with this. Looks like. So you can just like put it straight on your cheek and rub it in. More chapstick. I just got this for free when I went to Target one time to do this thing with my friend's daughter. Um, Soam Institute, this is their A-Bomb. It's like a moisturizer, love this stuff. Probably don't need to bring this, but this is already in here. This is like a volume powder for to restyle your hair. I'm not going to be styling my hair at the hospital. I always bring Moroccan oil with me all the time because it's good for dry ends. So this this again was like already in here. Little toothbrush. Oh, it's hair in here. Um, little toothbrush. Facial cleaner. If I actually want to actually like scrub my face and not just use wipes. My all-time favorite eyeliner by NYX. It's the liquid matte liquid liner. It's the bomb. So this goes with me everywhere. Multiple hair things. Um, Bobbi Brown. This is a uh, taupe, just brown eyeshadow, which is why I have my eyeshadow brush. This little shimmer guy goes with me everywhere. It's like a little little baby highlighter goes a long way can really make you just really just improve your look when you're not looking so good this is a serum by Soam. I don't really need this but this is already in here um, floss a little perfume guy hair an old toothbrush thing I need to clean out so old makeup yeah so this is all I'm gonna go back in snack bag all right let's dump it out Okay, jerky, so protein. I like this Country Archer brand a lot. So I also have a beef jalapeno, but I thought I should probably steer away from anything too spicy. So I'm bringing just like one packet of this, some um, salted mixed nuts, just two of these um, beach bars that I really like. They are high in fiber, fiber, low in calories, and they have 10 grams of protein. So just like a really great snack. Prunes because I do love dried fruit, but I've heard that sometimes in the hospital you get a little constipated. So bring in these, or maybe I'll just have them when I get home. Um, this is Beach Body's Hydrate. It's for like workout recovery, but it's gonna help replenish my electrolytes. So I brought two of these, and I can just put them in my water bottle. I also got a couple of these from Whole Foods. Um, it's Whole Foods brand electrolyte. What is the it is raspberry. These are on sale. So I grabbed just like two of these. And I also already have the coconut water, you know. And then just three packets of Shakeology. This pumpkin spice, vegan pumpkin spice, was like limited edition. So I'm bringing two of these because the packets are really nice for travel. So I just happen to have those in the packets. And then just vanilla. So I am hope I'm not there for more than three days. But I just also didn't really feel like it was necessary to bring like a week's supply of stuff. So this is all of my snacks. If you like this video, um, you know, I'm sure that you probably have some tips, things I forgot. So feel free to comment below if there's anything that I'm missing or anything that was like a lifesaver for you. Um, yeah, and make sure that you like and subscribe and keep checking back because I'm gonna do a diaper bag video in the future and then obviously there'll be videos with the baby um, once the baby comes home. Okay, thanks for watching, bye.